Hello everyone, and welcome back to the rebirthing process of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Remake Part Two. In the last episode, we made it here to Lower Junon, well, the last session, really. Uh, we did the stupid frog jumping minigame. I say stupid, it was like a Fall Guys ripoff minigame situation where we play as a frog. It was kind of fun, but I'm glad it was kind of just a one-off thing. I imagine if they're going to bring that back later in the game, it'll be some kind of form of gold saucer minigame, maybe. I could see that, actually. But anyway, uh, we need to wrap up all the side questing we need to do in this area before we head up to Upper Junon and talk to Priscilla about her plan to get us up to Upper Junon. So, to do that, we need to go... Oh, actually, you know what? We need to go out the front gates. Our, our last side quest, at least that we have at the moment, I don't know if another one will pop up later, but right now we have one side quest that we need to do. Um... I need to go to the entrance of town and escort a dog over to that one little settlement that I wasn't able to go inside of out in the Junon area. Because now I should be able to go there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! There's a material over here. Mother effa. I never went over here. Free HP up material. Woo! Um, what was I going to say? Um, I already forgot what I was going to say. Oh. Oh. We need to escort the dog over to the settlement, so the place I wasn't actually to go, be able to go inside of before when we were out exploring. And that area basically has all the rest of the things we have left to do in the Junon area. Where the freak is the goddamn staircase that takes us up? Right there. Durr. Anyway, the frog game is one of the less impressive minigames, Sparty. Yeah, I won't say it was one of the best. I didn't hate it, but wasn't that crazy. Wasn't crazily impressed by it, for sure. I have to make sure we do the Chadley challenges too, because we have a new summon to unlock. Although I do want to get uh, to unlock the summon, I do want to. Ugh, fuck, I keep forgetting how to get out of here, man. I'm not that well versed in this place yet. Um, once I get all the rest of the map done, I'll be able to fight the Phoenix at its weakest. I haven't actually tried to fight it yet, but I might as well just beat its ass when I get to get it all weakened down and stuff. You actually really like the the chocobo racing in this game? Yeah, I look forward to the chocobo racing in uh, Gold Saucer. I want to see what it's like. I'm actually really hyped for getting across the sea and seeing those areas. Because those are all hype areas, right? The whole Corel thing. The Gold Saucer stuff. Cosmo Canyon. Nibelheim. I want to go. Oh, man. I'm hyped for all that shit. Gangaga is going to be interesting because that's a very, like, throwaway situation that happens in the original but it's still a very important town when it comes to the story even though they don't really emphasize it in the original game anyway you're heading to Gaga now Sparty nice um, Junon adventure continues indeed indeed it do alright so how does this work do we just does he just follow us oh we follow him okay we're following the dog here we go woof woof dog any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Why can't we just grab the dog and go, man? Strap him to a chocobo and let's go. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Anyway, we're following the doggo. Here we go. At least he takes the road. Listen to this music. Hold on one second. My eye is itching. Ah. Ah. All right, sorry. It was really irritating me. And I'm liking this song, though. It's interesting. <laughs> Naming the dog Salmon is pretty funny. I agree on that. Protect Salmon and defeat the fiends. Can Salmon? I guess Salmon does have a health bar, so yes, he can be attacked. Now, why is it going to be flying enemies? Can it be anything but flying enemies? It's fine. We got him deaded pretty quick there. We're getting a little too OP. All right, Salmon, run! Run, fool, run! Day bow bow. Bow wow wow. It's an adorable song. Kind of a far run, because like we gotta go from here from Junon all the way all the way 
over here, assumedly. So it's gonna be a long run. It's pretty far. But then we get a nice scenic look at the rest of this area one more time before we dip and come back never again. Well, maybe never again. I don't know what kind of side quests are involved later in the game. That'll make us return to the, any areas, so we'll see. That might, there might be a, some side quests later that have us return to every area we've been to before and do some stuff. You never know. Come here, Zemzelet. Leave my doggo alone. You leave that dog out of this, boy. All right, back to running, doggo. Day bow bow. Day bow bow. Oh, yeah. Okay, what? Know how some parents stop the kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene. I wish you could be my baby girl forever. <laughs> He's such a big softy. I love that guy. <laughs> I wish you could be my baby girl forever. The voice actor for Barrett is incredible. He does such a good job. He does exactly the voice that I would do. You know what I mean? Like, if I could do a Barrett voice, that's exactly how it would sound. That's, like, I think they nailed it better than, than anything else in this game. Like, other actors, other voice actors have been good, too. But holy shit, Barrett is like number one perfection choice. Voice actor nailed it. They chose the right person to do it. 100%, thank you very much. Fucking love it. All right, dog, get back to it. He actually got nicked a little bit there. Bastard. They should have just got Mr. T. Nah, I think Mr. T, uh, in terms of acting level, wouldn't have been as good. It would have been funny, but it would have been too stereotypical, and the acting wouldn't have been as good. I don't think it, Mr. T is capable of the acting part of the voice acting in this case. Maybe Chris Rock? No. See, now you're just getting racist. I'm trying to just pick black actors. No, 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 no. I don't care about that. I just care about somebody who can nail a voice that comes out of that big man right there. And they picked the right person. Delivery-wise, for the dialogue that they have him say, for the emotion that he has to also come out with, portray, that's the right word I'm looking for, portray, he does a really good job. I don't think Chris Rock would have done a good job either, to be fair. Wouldn't have fit. Chris's rock voice is too fucking like high pitch. Wouldn't have worked. In many cases, you can hear whether the person is white, black, or whatever. In many cases, yes, but I've had plenty of people tell me I sound like a black guy. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. He's gonna he's gonna fail you. On my videos, anyways. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again... Hey! You think they picked the perfect voice actor actress for Aerith? Oh, they did. All the all the voice acting in this game is great. I have no com I have no qualms with the voices they chose for the characters so far. I really don't. They did a really good job with pretty much all the casting. Oh boy, have we fought these guys before? I want to say we have not. These look new. Sandstorm Drakes, these are new. 
Alright, so let's make sure we scan these fools, and I think we'll have scanned just about every enemy in the area. That would have been our 10th enemy had we not had the, uh, the big, uh, water beast thing that we fought as a boss fight. <laughs> you think the guy who played Crybaby Ned should get an Oscar? Crybaby Ned. That was a... That, that character was silly as hell. Yeah, I'm actually curious about Kate's this voice actor too, Garzana, so I'm really excited to hear him talk a lot. Detrimental Satisfacts Petrifying Stone. You have been petrified. Take a certain amount of damage in this state will turn you to stone. Avoid damage while until the status wears off or use a, a soon a remedy or whatever. Alright. So try not to get hit when you're petrified. Or just try to win quickly. How about that? I didn't even like pay attention to what he's weak to. He's weak to win. Let's get him with some wind then. Wind, wind, wind. Wind, wind, wind. So why, why come the stagger bar is not building up? Attacking the R that shrouds it will produce tornadoes. The R will weaken with each tornado spawn, and once it vanishes, the Drake will become pressured. Attacking it from behind will. Okay, so he has some tornado shit going on, that's why. It's like, why is he not getting. If they have a magnifying glass, you already scan them. No, no, I know. I know. I haven't scanned these guys. I was just I was looking at them as I saw them. I know you can tell which enemies you've scanned and which ones you haven't. I know there's a way to tell. I'm aware of this. So, what are we even doing right now? Just dealing damage, I guess. Apparently she hadn't mastered Reverse Gale yet, which I thought she already did. Alright, uh, uh, did I already master bonus round? I think I'm close. I have it already. At least Cloud didn't get petrified, so that's cool. Triple Slash! I didn't actually heal before I uh, got into this, did I? Oh, we don't have any synergy. He has the item thing on, is what he has. Arrow! Gotti. These voice actors are all new to you, Sparty, since you haven't... Okay. You've only played the Japanese version. That's right. Sparty's playing in this in Japanese, so he hasn't even heard the voice actors. Well then, when we get to Kate Sith eventually, which probably won't be today. In fact, I know it won't be today. Unless he shows up early. Um, yeah. I don't think he'll show up early. I think he'll show up precisely when he's supposed to. Or at least approximately. They might tease him a little bit more than just having him only show up at gold saucer but we'll see first <clears throat> we still have to recruit yuffie officially which hasn't happened yet we only just finally found her sam what are you doing here <laughs> came all this way and you're still full of energy uh do i know you we're sam's bodyguards your mom hired us to keep him safe and to make sure her boy got his allowance Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire? Claire what are you doing out of bed? That's not Leon, Claire. You You're cheating on Leon? I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Oh. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. 
Ooh. Avalanche. Things. Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be I'm thinking care. that one side quest is about to lead to another. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Sweet. Alright, so that quest is completo, and unsurprisingly, there's going to be a quest here. Have I beat all the Queen's Blood in this area? The ones that were in Junon, yes. I don't know if there's going to be any more in the area we're about to walk into right now. But I did do all the card games in Junon that I could. But it looks like there's more now. So maybe there's more in Junon that I didn't notice. Or maybe there's going to be more people to play here at this base. And we definitely still have probably two more rounds of uh, Fort Condor we're going to have to play too. I'm happy we were able to meet you. Almost feels like this little one brought us together. Almost. All right. Well, the side quests continue. Man, you Midgarinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I Midgarinos? Is that what you call us? Midgarinos. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. Totally. Me too. Dreams do come true. I've always wanted to help a guy named Toby. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> There's piano. I see a piano. We haven't seen a piano in a long time. So, since the, the flashback, There's really. This big lighthouse down by the cape. And uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Themselves, the Merc of Junon. Oh my God. The Merc is back. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are acquaintance. The I don't know about you, but I think nuisance. Us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. Uh, I guess we'll just ask him about the stuff. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good, allegedly they're good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Because they're useless. The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. <laughs> There's always this, at least one side quest for all of my homies to help with. We already had Tifa and Aerith, and now Barrett, and now Red will be last. Of the Great Condor, if you're lucky. If you're in that kind of stuff. Great Condor, ooh! I want to see it, ooh! The Four Condor, Great Condor, ooh! <laughs> Anyway, did I hear that the Cinderella castle burned down a few days ago? I know nothing about that. No, I did not hear about that. Do you mean like the one at Disneyland? <laughs> what Cinderella castle are we talking about? Is it the one that like the Cinderella castle in the movie is based on or something? Anyway, pretty good you'd say, but the translation takes a lot of liberties, so what they say doesn't really match the subs. I see. The subs don't really match the Japanese voice what they're actually saying I guess that's what you're trying to say yeah if it's not a one-to-one -one translation it really doesn't help learning a language through watching the game playing the game yo it's Stan Lee what's up Stan Lee curious about this old clavier I'm Dorian Representative of the Piano Outreach Association. There's a POA it's out there? Sweet. Support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Okay. Obtain sheet music fan and pianos around the world to add these scores to your repertoire. If you achieve a rank A in performance, speak to Dorian, he'll reward you your music your musical prodigy. Okay. I hope you will aid me. 
me and my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. Worst side quest in the game. Oh boy. This seems like one that's going to continue throughout the game. It looks like I'm going to have to play piano. You will return. Okay. Yeah. Surrender to the music. We are I haven't played any songs yet. The our so with the way that the piano, the piano and all will be buttons were, I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. But let's see. On our way. Ooh, on our way. That's a good song. If I'm, if it's the song I think it is. Time to learn how to play the song. Press that to select the piece you'd like to perform when perform a piece. Tilt L or R in the notes and then... Okay. Where are the notes? How do I know what the notes are? I have to pick the piece, I guess. On our way. I have to do it. I gotta get an A rank or better. That's the goal. Here we go. Piano time! Oh boy. Omega says he likes this. Sparty says he doesn't. Let's see how I feel after I try this for real. Oh, shit. I was using the wrong joystick. Dun, 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 dun. Oops. Ooh. I'm terrible with two hands on my Jesus. Sorry, this is our warm up. Okay, so one joystick I'm good with, but double. Damn it. Okay. Forget how the song went. Wonder what I'm gonna get. Okay, so I missed 20. I got 120 greats though. I feel like that wasn't terrible. For a first try, not knowing exactly how to do it, I got a B rank. You know, that's not too bad. I was actually pretty close to an A rank. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, but I am going to have to do it one more time if I want the A rank. You think your analog stick might be getting tired because you can't consistently hit right tangent for the life of you, even if you're trying to press in the right direction? I didn't have any issues with any directions there. Mine was more about when the double buttons came up, and when I started, I wasn't sure which joystick. I got confused for a second. My brain wanted to use the left joystick the whole time, but I was like, okay, i got to go right joystick for most of this. All right, let's do it again. I would say we did pretty good, just could be better. Let's do it again. One more time. That was only one try. I feel like if I would have first tried that, I would have been proud of myself, but I, I didn't know what to expect at first. Now I know what to expect.
Damn it, it was the next note. Screwed it up here at the end, man. I was doing so good. Fuck. It's okay. I think I did really good overall. Even if I scoop all the rest of these notes, it'll be fine. Man. I almost perfected that whole song. I almost fucking nailed it. Well, I definitely destroyed that time. I missed three notes near the, the end there. I fucked up. And then I had a few bad notes. I think my good notes were mostly on the doubles. And I, might, I don't know. I might have missed a couple of good ones. But yeah, that was pretty good. If you know the song, it helps a lot because you can do the timing. Anyway. Yeah, if you had that much trouble with that, Sparty, it's either you're really bad with music or your controller's fucked up. Because that really isn't that bad. It really isn't. That, like, I'm sure it'll get harder, but even that wasn't that bad. Like, just in terms of... I get that they'll be more difficult, but, like, the controls themselves were fine. I didn't have any problem with that. All right, well, anyway, A rank. Bitchin'. First one down. Let's go. One piano song. Mastered, or mostly. I am, Like I said, I almost did perfect. I, I only fucked up right near the end. I had all the rest of the notes nailed until the end hit me. Well, that one double note, it was early. It was a note and then a double right after, and I, I hit the double note first before it came up, and that's why I got a miss there. But anyway, hey, we're going to get a HP up material for that, so that's cool. The more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Eventually. Not that I need another HP Plus Materia, but, you know, whatever. It's free. I'll take it. Maybe I'll use it. You probably won't, though. You can only use one hand, so the doubles is what you struggle on, Omega? Why can you only use one hand? Do you only have one hand? I don't know if we've ever discussed your personal situation. Or you just have a messed up hand? Is there a reason you can only use one hand? Before I play cards, I want to find a place to sit down and rest my ass. Because I'm hurting. Because we hurting. <laughs> He's got a gun hand. Are you Barrett IRL? Omega, is that what it is? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I didn't know I was talking to the Barrett, the man himself. But anyway, it looks like we have some more card people to play in the area, so this is going to be fun. More cards, more side questing, and more things to do. Absolutely. You're so famous. I'm going to have to do some deck rearranging, too, because i got a bunch of new cards. Get wrecked, Neil. That's cool. Let's play already. Want to play against a future celebrity? Whatever, bro. Let's just play already. I'm ready to rock your tits. Bah. Boy. All right. Enfeebling abilities. You now own a card that can lower the power of or enfeeble other cards. When a powers, when a card's powers reduces zero, it is destroyed. Oh, when you reduce a card's power, it's destroyed, and it becomes an empty space. Okay. There are also cards whose available abilities activate only when they are destroyed or enfeebled. Therefore, sometimes it benefits you to enfeeblement to use enfeeblement abilities on your cards rather than your opponents. Interesting. Okay, we're going to start getting some more complex strategies needed here. Let's definitely do some deck stuff because I got hella new cards because I bought all those expansion packs and, yeah, all lots of good stuff. Probably going to end up replacing just about everything I started with at this point, but we'll see. So what does the Mandragora do? Um, no, hold on. Hold on. Take that out. I wanted to see what it does. This button. When played, Mand Mandragora minion to your hand. Huh. What is the Mandragora minion? I don't know what that does. What was the Mandragora minion? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, um, we got Flan. So that puts three behind. Oh, that that knocks the three behind you. That's interesting. It's kind of similar to the. Uh, What's it called card I use? This one, the Alpha Dunk one, but it goes all three behind you. Interesting. Okay, but it's only a one star. That's actually not a bad card. Uh, let's see. This one. That one's really nice, too. The Crawler. I like that. I want one that's good to replace the 
Grassland Wolf. That's what I'm looking for. A card that'll be good to replace that one. I feel like the the Capper Wire is a good one to replace at least one of these wolves. Riot Trooper. Damn, the Riot Trooper is nice. I like that too. He's a two-star card though. What does this guy do? When played, lower the power of the enemy cards by, on, on affected tiles by four. Lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Okay. So it gets it hits one two spaces ahead, but that's all it does. It doesn't take any spaces. I don't like that. Apparently you had a stroke or something when you were a baby, so your entire right side of your body you can you can move, but grabbing things with your right hand is almost impossible unless it's not very heavy objects. Okay. So you got like a weak right hand. Hey man, I grew up with a dude in school who had like had like a messed up hand. He like his hand was messed up, and they had to like do some kind of surgery on him when he was born. His hand was real fucked up. So I mean, I've seen some. I've seen some people that have had some messed up like body things that happened to them when they were born. So I get you. I understand. Yes, you came into some some amazing stuff, Marl. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. How are you? This card is interesting too because it only grabs the ones behind it. But it also low it's a, another lowering lowering power one. Okay. Interesting that all these lower power ones, man. I also bought this Phoenix card. When it's destroyed, it raises the power of allied cards if unaffected by Damn. The Phoenix is dope if you're gonna get it destroyed, but I don't know if I'm gonna plan to destroy that or not. That seems a little bit too epic for my strats. We also have the Shiva card now, which I haven't gotten to try. When played, spawn. Diamond Dust of Power, 2, 4, 6 at empty position. See, I don't know what that does. I'd be really curious to see what it does, but I don't know what I would want to replace to see it happen. It doesn't seem like one I would like, though, because it seems like it's random. I don't like random in my card games if I can help it. You don't like that card, Omega? Okay. You don't like cards with that, that have powers that are conditional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your right hand's always bent down? Okay. So basically, what you're saying is you have... So, can can you not use a controller with two hands? I guess that was my question. Or you just have issues with two joysticks. Like, I, I guess that was my clarification I would like to know. I don't know if I want to use any of these other cards. This Wow, this Quetzalcoatl card is crazy. It's a lot of spots. It's not as good as the Chocobo, but it's pretty good. I don't know. I kind of like the strats I've been using. I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to stick with what I have. I'm trying to see if there's any good card to replace the wolf with, but none that have the same power and take up at least the same squares and or more. I think I might just stick with the wolf. I kind of like it. I guess the Mandragora. I lied. The Mandragora, but it only has one power. At least the wolf has two power. That's the biggest selling point to me. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to roll with it. Fuck it. Let's go. You do everything with your left hand, which is why you mainly, you're mainly you mainly a console player. I got gotcha. you. Alright, I'm going to put the Chocobo away because he's too epic to start with. And I'm probably going to put the Mew away just because he's two and I don't really like him as a starting point. He's a card I want to play later. Why do I always press start there? Play on, playa. So basically, you got to use a controller with one hand, is what you're telling me. That's pretty crazy if you can do that. Where am I at in the story right now? I'm in Junon still. I'm I'm in the little like camp area outside of Junon where there where I had to do a side quest to be able to go inside of it. I'm there right now, so I'm still trying to finish clearing out the map of Junon area. That's my that's my goal today is finishing the Junon map area and then probably heading to Upper Junon after that. So that's the plan. All right. So he played that card. I don't even know what that card does or did already. But uh, what do I want to do from here? That's the question. I want to press forward a little bit. Or you know what? Um. No, no, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. 
couldn't figure out how to do one side quest that had frog in the title. Oh, you couldn't figure out the frog one? I did the frog one yesterday. There's a little froggy dude down by the water in, inside of the lower Junon area. I could show you later if you want. I did that one at the end of last stream. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in a little bit of a crevice down there at the bottom of the by the water by the docks. Um, yeah. You're past it right now, but most likely you'll be able to go back later. Most likely. I don't know for sure if that's true, but I'm assuming we'll be able to go back later. Um, anyway, what am I playing right now? I'm kind of at a, uh, a little bit of a... Trying to make a choice here. I guess I'm going to play the wolf down here right now. want to see what he's about to do. He's playing the Crystal Crab. Okay. Okay. In that case... Ooh, I got my fat chocobo already? Bruh. I'm going to do it. I'm okay with this. Okay. I'm going to put you here, I think. Or no, no, down here. Yeah, 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 I like this. This is better. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, wait. This doesn't go forward one. Shit. I need one that goes up and forward. I guess this one. Damn, I hate to take up a three spot, though. That's so dumb. Because I can't... If I do this, I'm only taking the one above... But I feel like I need to do both. So I might have to play him. He'll get a plus three, though. So that'll be worth it, I think. Because it's either that or... I don't really have a better move, honestly. That's probably my best move. He flipped too many of my spots, damn it. Ish. Okay. Uh, I think if I play... Oh, I can't put him here. He's a two-star. Damn it. I might be... I might be stuck playing this guy here, and then we're done. Because I don't think I can take that one down there. With anything I have, yeah. Well, that's the best I can do. Hope for the best. Let's hope I can win over overall score. Damn, he has nine in the middle row, though. Wasted Chocobo row. Damn. Holy shit, that one's worth 13? Well, that's game. I lost. Didn't expect him to have a 13 card. That's freaking Ifrit right there. God damn. I wasn't expecting him to have a card that good. But I guess I should have. That's okay. I felt winnable. I just didn't do do a good job. Damn, he has a he has a couple of good ass cards. He has some He has at least that good ass card. I was not expecting that. I think I might have jumped the gun a little bit playing my Chocobo. I shouldn't have done it early like I did there. I just really wanted to play him since I already had a three-star set up. I'm going to swap out those two. That's good. If it got powered up somehow? Probably. Probably. He had a bunch of cards. I know he had the one in the middle that was a power-up card, so he definitely got powered up at least from that. Shit, I got two more twos? Ugh. All right, that's fine. It's fine. That could be okay, depending on what he does. I'm probably going to play this middle back. So that I can start having some doubles scooch up right off the bat. Or should I play Titan? No, I'd rather do this. Because that, that powers up multiple spots. That's a good card to play in the back middle. Okay. Uh, I might put you... Right here. Okay. Okay. And then... Uh... Hmm. Contemplation. Contemplation. Concentration. Contemplation. Concentration. Contemplation. Concentration. Uh... If I put you here, we go down. I think I might be okay with that, actually. I think I'm okay with that. OK. 
Okay. And then... See, if I go here, that's that. If I go here, that's that. Um, if I go like that. So I'm trying to think what my best move is here. If I play this, he's probably going to flip the middle one, but I can flip it back. Hmm. Just trying to think how I want to do this. Uh. And then he'll flip it back again. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Um. I mean, either way, we got to do something. Might be best off just doing this. Play my two while I still can, you know? Before he flips over my shit. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it. Okay. That was expected, and he's just going to flip it back again. Um... Man, I don't really have a better option. Do I? I guess I could put three. Whatever flips it and gives me the most points is pretty much my best option. Damn it, I've got a bunch of shit cards though, man. Why couldn't I get my Chocobo when I needed it? I think I got a bunch of shitty fucking shit. Lame. So that's, I guess this is my best bet because I can actually power up a card. Yeah. All right, we'll see how it ends up. He gets two more turns. There's his Ifrit. So the Ifrit has a five. Holy shit. He just won on that row alone. Damn, he just wins by powering up that damn Ifrit card. Jesus. He beat me with one row. What a dick. Man. Powering up that Ifrit card is rough. Alright. We try again. I didn't get very good pulls that time, in my opinion. At least in terms of turns. I know, my Chocobo showed up at the end right when I didn't need him anymore. It was kind of lame. Um, You know what I'm going to do this time? I'm going up the middle. Because I can double. I can do that. Double, double. Toil and trouble. Double, double. Toil and trouble. He's got the same fucking card I do. What a dick. I thought that was supposed to be rare, bro. Uh, Okay. I'm going to play this dude here. Double, double, toil in trouble. I should have put that in a different spot, I think, maybe. No, that really is the best spot for it. Hmm. Um, okay. I might have to start using some of those weakening cards. That might actually help me. <sighs> anyway, what's up, N7 Titan? N7 Titan, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? I'm going to put you here. Okay. Man, why can't you give me my Chocobo card or something else, please? Can't play that there. I guess I could just play this. I don't really know what else to do right now. Trying to take all my shit, bruh. Him taking over all the board is not helping. I'm already fucked because I can only put a two back there. That's, that's the end of my. T that's the end of my turns. Now he's just gonna win. He's already beating me as it is. Like this restart. This is already a loss. I'm not even gonna watch this victory loot. Like, this is fine. <sighs> okay. I'm just trying to think what I want to change out. 
But I feel like I should change out something. So there's definitely better cars at my disposal, but like I need to figure out what the hell they are and how I want to use them. Uh Hmm. Hmm. She just meant rip to that round because I got Rex. That's all she meant. She didn't mean rip to the game in general. Arch Dragon. Kind of wish I had one that does... I mean, this is kind of what I would like to do right here. The zoo card. I wish this card was stronger, though. Really do. Um, yeah, I'm kind of down to take out the Mew card. I never use it effectively. I'd rather put something else in over it. If this guy was stronger, it'd be worth using too, but he's only got one power. It's like, eh. I don't know. I might just try this one out. Try this guy out, and I'll swap out. I'll just swap out the Mew card, I guess. I never really get a good chance to use him anyway. Um, I think I am going to take the wolf out and put the other one of these in. Because this just gives you extra power, and it's basically the same thing. I'm cool with that. Let's go with it. Let's try again. Here we go. Arch Dragon does seem pretty good for a level one. That's why I was like, let's try it out. There's my fat Chocobo. It's like, I like him, but I don't want to start with him because he's so useful. Maybe I'll just roll with it. Fuck it. Let's just start with it. See how it goes. I like my other starting cards, so I'm okay with this, actually. Come on. Okay. Give me the Arch Dragon card right away, which... I want to play this one in the middle. The second column in the middle. Um... I'm going to put the Titan down, I guess. If I put him here... Um... Let's either play it here... I kind of want to play it here. Although I was telling I wanted to play the Arch Dragon here. But I might have a better opportunity to use it in a better spot. So, you know what? I'm going to put this here. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Don't question it. Just do it. Aw, oh, man. That took away my what I wanted to do with this. It's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do... Uh, hmm. Damn, I got another three. I'm gonna put the man. I want to flip that top before he pushes it pushes it back on me. Uh. May, okay, maybe this is my best bet here. Just do it. Cause he's gonna stop it now. Probably he's gonna stop the bleeding. Oh, yeah. and that's fine. As long as he doesn't push forward. There. Also. You're rebirthing a lot lately, are you sore? Kinda, yeah. It's a painful process. But also, hi, FML. Thank you for the 49 run 3 sub. Over four years now, sir, you've been subbed. How does it feel? <sighs> it can destroy an enemy card if the power... If the card power is three or lower. If the card is already on the board in front of the place with it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it only works with the cards already there. I'm aware of that, Omega. I just needed to play something there that made sense. I wasn't about worried about um, anything else. 
That was strictly playing it just for the sake of taking the card in front of it, or the spot in front of it, rather. Now... Ooh, okay. Uh, I might just put this boy down. Yeah, I'm doing that. You would start putting something on the bottom because he's going to push forward. Well, it's the thing is I want him to push forward. I want him to. But I don't want to play this. Even though I do want to play this. Fuck, I, don't, I can't put anything in the middle though. I didn't plan that well. Alright, well, I guess I have to play this. Well, he's going to flip it if I do that. Alright, hold on. No, I don't. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that at all. Let's, let's just do this. This is smarter. This is smarter. Play it smart. Because now he has to play something there. For better or worse. And then I can flip some shit. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to do that, though. Booty. Uh, well, on the positive side, we can power some shit up. So, Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? Why does that make it zero? What? Why does that make him zero? I don't understand why it makes him zero. Probably something on the card ability, yeah. I mean, I gotta do it either way, it feels like. I don't really have a better option because it destroys your cards and theirs. Huh. So it's gonna destroy my own card. Basically, it's gonna destroy him. I don't want to destroy him, even though it's gonna make all my shit better. I don't want to destroy him. It's kind of lame. I didn't want to destroy him. It reduces cards above and below by one. Well. Unfortunately, I don't have a great setup here. I'm hoping he doesn't fuck me on the last turn. My best bet is this. And just hope for the best, I guess. Oh, he only has that chocobo? Alright. He can only play a one star here at the end, so... It's gonna be a close one. It's 22 to 17 right now. Damn it! He took the bottom row. Fucker! Ooh... Bitch. I'm kind of annoyed because I had my fat chocobo that whole time. But I didn't have a good way to play it, man. God. This is why, what makes it hard is you can't see their cards, man. So you don't know what they're about to play or what they have in their hand. Ah, so annoying. I think playing the magic pot in the center might have been my downfall, even though it worked so well with all the extra power-ups it was doing. So wait, let me see what the fuck... Okay, when played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one. Wait, it lowers the power? Why did I think it raised the power? What the fuck am I thinking? You gotta be careful because what you put on the field can power up their shit too. Yeah, I know that. I knew that one. Anyway, you tried Scooter's Coffee today, FML. It was it was good, but fuck you. It was over $6. Fuck that. Won't see me there. Alright, anyway, I'm just gonna roll with this. It's fine. I think the idea with this card is you want to play it right away. What I didn't... So, I'm dumb. I thought this was powering cards up. Not lowering power. That's where I fucked up on this. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know where I got that in my brain, but oh well. Everything's getting expensive? I mean, you damn right about that. Coffee's just an example. I'm gonna do this. Then I want to take the middle. If 
I put this here, I take that, but I don't want to do that yet. I would rather do this. If I'm gonna be real with you, I'm gonna rather I think I'd rather do this. I wish that was a two spot. But yeah, I'd rather do this. Okay. I do that. He can flip me, but I can flip it back. But he could also push forward down below. Okay, you know what? I need to flip the down below one, actually, more than I need to do that. Uh, is this my best co-play here? Yeah. I needed to pin that one in. Because, see, he wasted his three-star spot, spot on that card. That works for me, dog. Okay, uh, I think I'm good playing. Uh, hmm, I have ideas here, but I'm trying to decide what the best one is. I think my best bet is this right here. Okay. Okay, and I think that pretty much gives me the board right there. So I'm going to do that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, go back to Lurkin' Morrow. I'll, I'm about to win this round, I think. I think I got this. I think I took over enough of the board to where I got this victory finally. I finally took the win here. Now I'm just making sure I get enough points, which... Right now I have 12 and he has 12, so all I gotta do is get like, you know, a couple points here. I think we're good. Pretty sure I got the victory now, bitch. I could destroy one of his cards for funsies. Or just lower the power of one. Take all the rows. Get greedy with it. Ha ha. That's <laughs> what you call greed, baby. I want all the win. All right, we finally got a win, guys. Jesus Christ. All right. It's nice AF down where you're at right now, FML. It's pretty nice over here, honestly. It's been pretty nice the last couple days here in Ohio. Anyway, for victory, we get a Flame Trooper. When destroyed, lower the power of the... Uh, Lower the power of allied and enemy cards affected by tiles 3. Oh, wow. That's another self-destruct type card. Could wreck your shit. Probably won't use it, but cool to have, I guess. God damn, dude. That guy was pretty tough, but we finally got a victory. Man, we're going to be we're gonna be here for a while if I'm going to be playing cards. But I went up a rank, so that's cool. Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. All right, and Chad's got some words. Congratulations, Cloud. I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the crow's nest. Well, I lucky for me, I'm already here. Suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Dude's pretty good on the guitar. He's alright. He's not incredible or anything, but he's he's alright. There's more side quests here. How many side quests popped up? One more extra one. And another card person popped up as well. Named Cameron. Okay, well, we got more things to do. We're going to be here for a while. I, here I thought we were about to get through the Junon stuff, but I guess we're going to be here for a minute. So, fun. Not that I'm mad at it. I'm just... It's like, oh, am I surprised? Not really, I guess. <laughs> There's so many side things. There's a message board here or a notice board. Let's find the other quest. Where the heck is it? 
Condor Watching Society on Condor Hill. Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Junon in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prepare a culinary feast that will that she will find too tempting to resist. Those willing to provide assistance are invited to join us on Condor Hill. Well, I think I'm headed that direction, so we'll just have that on the map ready to go when I get there. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we went from playing one person at cards to playing another, because here we go. Unless this is Cameron. Are you Cameron? No, you're Michaela. Hello, hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe uh -huh, uh -huh, it's our uh -huh. best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? Whatever, I'll play you regardless. Ooh, she's got the Mind Flare card. Lower the power of allied enemy cards on the effect tiles by one while this card is in play. That's pretty, uh, seems pretty good if you want to weaken some shit. I'm going to stick with the deck I just used. I feel like that was pretty good. I don't really want to use that Fire Trooper card I just got. I'll pass on that. Um, you know what? This is a pretty good starting hand. Let's go. I don't have my Cactuar or my Chocobo, but we can always play this boy in the middle. Not quite as good as the Chocobo, but good enough. If I got another Chocobo Moogle card, I would put it in the place of that in a heartbeat. Um, we'll put this boy... Uh, um, yeah. Just stick to what I usually do, just do that. Okay. I'm gonna flip that bitch. Hopefully. Not. Can't. Damn it. Uh, cannot do what I wanted to do, never mind. Uh. Well, I'm a little worried now, because he's gonna take that spot, and I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. Um, yeah, I don't like the cards I have now that I see one of them. This is not good. Alright, let's go with that. Nope, that was a bad idea. Mm, probably gonna regret that. Oh, okay, didn't regret it as much as I thought I might. That was actually better than I expected. He destroyed his own card, too. Cool. This is actually good. Maybe I can pin him in. That'd be nice. Oh boy, he's got the Mind Flare. Oh boy. Uh, let's do... Um... Man, um... This is good. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. King Tonberry card? Interesting. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to get that with three. I'm just not going to be able to. It's unfortunate. Um, fuck. I got all these threes and twos, and I don't have enough threes and two spots to put it. Wait, no, 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 no. Put this here. Yes, that's good. There we go. This is very interesting. He keeps destroying his own cards. I don't know if it's for the the benefit of himself yet. <laughs> he keeps doing it. I get why he's doing it, but I don't know if it's actually helping him yet. But we'll see. Okay, now he's starting to destroy my cards, which is no bueno. Great. Well, this is the last card I'm going to be able to play, so unless he's going to destroy a bunch of my shit, we'll see what happens. All right, middle row, probably going to be mine unless he destroys some shit or powers some shit up. Yeah, yeah, just finish. Can he beat me? It all depends on if he can destroy more of my cards.
Okay. I guess that's the game. It looks like I win, bitch. <laughs> you couldn't do shit? With all the destruction she caused, she couldn't take a win from me, baby. Actually, first try to card game. All right. We got the Mind Flare card. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone. You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. The QBPC? But I really Hell yeah. Think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting Sure on thing, you. lady. I enjoy playing it, so I'm okay with this. The addiction, man. The card game is just... It's just fun to play. What more can I say? It's just fun to play. Alright. Uh, the last person that needs to be played is over here. You're not Cameron, are you? This is Cameron. Where's the last person I need to play? Seriously, where are they? Are they in town? Maybe there was a new person in town? There was. Son of a bitch. Zogan wanted to play. Alright. I didn't catch that. That's all right. We'll play him before we continue with the story for sure. That's fine. Um, first of all, the divine intel thing is here. Let's make sure we get it. More QB, indeed. We are definitely going to be playing more QB. We have at least Cameron and that other dude to play back in town. Both of those things will happen, absolutely. Um, hold on. Where's the thing I'm looking for around here? These people need to get off their soapboxes. They need to get off their soapboxes, like totally. It's not... It's weird, because it's showing like it's in town, but I don't see it. Right? Like, it's on the map. It shows it here. It's pretty well hidden, huh? Hmm. I don't know what to say about it right now. I'm going to go up this hill, though. I'll find it. We will find it. I just don't know where it is yet. gonna proceed on with the other things we have to do because we got plenty of things to do you felt dumb when you found it yeah we'll see I'll find it I haven't racked my brain and searched too hard yet I'm just looking for other things right now we got too many things to do I need to just keep working on them oh, oh, to join us, young lady. I think this is the one that wanted me to cook some food or whatever or whatever you certainly do so what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud Fun of bird facts, guys. Yes, sir. I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well... Far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Well, I guess we'll ask about it first. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. 
It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. It's gotta smell good, got it. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. That's cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Well, we have a chocobo who can do that, so works for me. Where am I going? Do I just need to go to the hunting grounds? I could just teleport there. Yeah, as I say, the hunting spot's over there. All right, well, before we deal with the hunting spot situation, what else can we do around here? I'm all about just checking all the things out since we haven't been to this area yet and figure out what we need, might need to go out and do in the meantime. I also might end up playing camera to cards real quick. I say real quick, it might take me a while, but we'll see. I mostly just wanted to climb the hill so I could check it out. Some rundown ass buildings over here. Should I check them out? I don't know. See if we can find anything cool. Give me all the iron ore, dog. Okay, well, we're back in the crow's nest area real quick. Let's let's get down here and play cards with this damn beezy Cameron. Is Cameron a dude or a chick? Cameron's a very gender neutral type name. Looks like it's a dude, and he seems very epic. I will show you the true spirit of Queen's blood. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world champion. in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision, the true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Okay. you the real challenge begins, y'all. Come at me, bro. Here we go. The champ is here. He's got the Midgard Sormer card. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, it raises this power up by one. Okay. Good to know. Um, Let me look at one thing. I got this Fire Trooper card. I wanted to look at that... The card I just won last round. The Mind Flayer. So it's only a two-star card. Okay. Or a two... Level two card, I guess we'll call it. It's only a level two card. I don't know. I don't really want to take any of my other cards out is a problem. Seems like it could be useful, though. If it was a one-star, I'd be like, oh my god. Amazing card. Since it's a two, it's like, eh. I might use it, but the likelihood I'll have a two spot open next to the enemy's cards, like the my opponent's cards, is lower than I would like I am going to swap out this guy and hope for another yeah exactly the card I was hoping for either that or the chocobo moogle card those are the two I like to start with all right um I wish I could play this right here I really do um um play you here I guess yeah oh my god 
Couldn't have asked for a better card right now. Let's go. Exactly the boy I wanted. Beautiful. All right, and then in this, uh -huh, I'll put you here or here. They both seem like a decent idea. Actually, you know what? Doing this. Yeah. Fuck you, buddy. Ha ha ha. Let's see what you do now, ho. Okay. With this set up, I'm going to do this. Anyway, I pretty much have this dude pinned in here now. If I play this, he's pretty well fucked. Oh, shit. I can do this. I can just wreck his shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, I really fucked him now. I fucked him good. <laughs> I already won. I don't even need to do anything else. I already took the whole fucking map. This shit is over, dog. <laughs> Wreck your tits, boy. First tried your ass, Cameron. Pinned you all the way up against your own shit. You ain't got nothing on me, boy. <laughs> we tied the bottom row, but that's okay. That's a victory for me, dog. That's what you call a whooping, Cameron. That's what you call a whooping. Man, that chocobo, that fat chocobo pull that I got was perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better pull there. That was amazing. What the fuck? The hell is this shit? This is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. Somebody who's caught in the fucking shadow realm from playing from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned. No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. And yeah, this is gonna get real Yu-Gi-Oh on us, isn't it? You've been banished to the Shadow Realm. Yugi! Yugi boy! Oh god. What have I done? What have you done, sir? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. It's actually made with Queens as his blood. What is okay. going on with this shit? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Oh yeah? Deep and captivating. Apparently life ruining as well. Thank you for this experience, my friend. That was a pretty creepy cutscene, I have to I have to agree there, Omega. Like it definitely caught me by surprise. I'm like, wait, what the fuck is happening right now? What is this static shit? What the hell? Freaking me out, bro. You're freaking me out. Anyway, have I looked around over here yet? I'll make sure we look around for things and stuff and things. Not Chad. Fucking Chad. I'm not talking to you right now, Chad. You can wait, Chad. The Chadliest boy. You can wait. Hi, Ether. How you doing, girl? <laughs> Does this path go down here anywhere to anything? No? Okay. Part of me is wondering if there's like an underground cave that goes underneath something around here. And that's how we're going to get that. 
the last thingy thing. That's why I'm looking around as thoroughly as I am right now. That and treasures, you never know. Okay. So, okay. Show, show, shuck my toe. Show, 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 shuck my toe. For show, 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 show. Isn't it usually there's like a bird or an owl or something that kind of leads us the way to these things? Usually, right? It's whatever. I'm just going to proceed down here for now. Continue with the other things we can do here and I'll worry about that when the time comes. Aha! Here we go. See? This is why I'm glad I didn't overlook for it. I had a feeling it was going to be like a cave that goes underneath or some shit. Here we go. This is it. Haha. -ha. Don't overthink it. Just follow the signs. You'll figure it out. Last Phoenix Crystal Analyzation. Commence. How do we do this? Oh, this is the rhythm game thing. Circle X, X circle, you got it. Do, 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 do. Alright, go. Circle X, X circle. Nailed it. <sighs> GG. And now we're gonna get the Phoenix, baby. Hell yeah. Well, I gotta go fight it, but now I'm gonna go fight it. Now it's time. Kick fucking ass. Well Not right now, right now, but when I'm ready to do all Chadley stuff. I want to finish all the other things, though. Yeah, yeah. That's the plan. The Phoenix is an amazing summon to have. Oh, I'm excited to have it. I'm not excited to get any of the summons, really. We've already seen all the summons we've had so far, at least in terms of playing it. Between Remake and Rebirth, we've seen all the summons. I don't think I've summoned everybody in Rebirth yet. I've summoned Titan a couple times. I know I've summoned Ramu. I think I did Leviathan once early on. Um, I definitely did all those, though, in the main game as well. Ramu and Leviathan were both from Yuffie's DLC. Or at least, no, Ramu was. Leviathan, I think, was only in the main game, but I definitely used it. But I've, I've definitely used it in this DLC as well. Also, hey, look, a sign I need to fix. Free teleport spot. What's my favorite summon? Uh, Bahamut. Easy. We don't have it in the game yet, but it's my favorite summon. Bahamut's easy, dude. Easy answer. The king of summons? Can't go wrong. Bahamut's the best. Can't beat Bahamut. Although, I will say I really liked Ramu. Ramu has always been fun for me. I like that the old man lightning master. I always like Ramu, too. He's one of my favorites as well. If it wasn't for Bahamut, Ramu was probably second favorite. All right. The last fiend of the area, guys. I got to pressure it, stagger it, and defeat it. So, here we go. Odin was always one of your favorites. Odin's really good, too. Must admit, Odin's really cool. Um, I don't think I have these guys scanned. Stormwing? I know I fought some new dragon-looking bird things earlier. But these ones are different. Let me scan them and see if they're different than the ones that I fought earlier. Exploding elemental weaknesses. Okay, so there's weak to wind. Alright. Easy enough. Barrett is perfect for this. Because he's got the arrow action. So pressure's easy enough. Now we just gotta get him. No, 
Stick to the fucking A. Stick to the A, boy. I want to get him. I want to get him built up. Get a little focus shot action on him. Just got to get one more stagger and we should have an easy win. Give me one more thing on the dude. Hurry up and get the stagger, man. Alright, there we go. Now we got it. Now we're talking a victory. One down. Kill the next one. Get a little focus strike action. Get a little triple slash. You come down here? You being way up there is not cool, bro. It's not cool, bro. So, okay. Omega said his favorite, one of his favorite is Odin. Odin's one of your favorite. What's one of your favorite scars on it? Or your favorite, huh? You want to ask the question? Why don't you join the party with the fucking uh, answer of your own, sir? Don't overdo it. Kiss my mother effing A's, boy. Right, you're done. You're done. You're done. Did it. First try. Let's go. We did it. We're amazing. Nice. You've successfully completed all June on combat assignments. Oh, Hell yeah, I did. Something the matter? Perhaps you're fatigued from your battles? Then allow me to provide a massage. Ooh, free massage? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, my. You had your fun. Now then, your latest triumph has allowed me to create a new combat trial. That's what I was waiting for. Combat trials. I want to wait till I unlock all the combat trials for the area and then we'll just go do them all with Chadley at once. That's what I wanted to do, so that's what I'm going to do, baby. Ooh. What I'm gonna do, baby. Ooh. When I asked, you realized you didn't care, really know the answer to, for myself, but after reaching deep within your feelings, your tops are Shiva and Ramu. Nice. Shiva's always a good choice. Everybody loves Shiva. Shiva is bae. Shiva's definitely a top notch choice as well. I always like, like, Ifrit, Shiva, Ramu. If you pick any of them, no one's gonna hate on that. Those are top three, like, been around forever summons in the series. No one will be mad at that. Titan, you can throw that in there as like a top four because, or like a main four because of all the four main elements that you usually get to use. But Bahamut, man, he's the man. King of all of them. He's the fucking man. Bahamut. I never know what the proper name is. I, I always call him Bahamut, and that's usually my go to. But Bahamut, 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 Bahamut. Who's ready for some more Condor? More Fort Condor. Condor. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover I like this minigame too. This yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. <laughs> I swear. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into work. Anyway, this is going to be not the last one yet because we still have two more uh this is definitely only three or four of the notches for the proto relic there's gonna be one more round of this shit but hey i like this mini game so i'm not mad at it proto relic where would i be over here your princess and your treasure await you make haste my hero. what the hell are you doing gilgamesh you silly bastard Then he's further gone than I thought. 
friends! Help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. Grave danger, my ass. What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so oh, yeah? alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. Y'all got some crazy gestures. Can we just get to it? So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Help him. We'll see how I do. We'll see how I do. You guys seem to think this one's gonna be harder than the last one. Okay, we'll see how I feel about it. Um, I went Cloud T for last time. Uh, he's got the Gilga Gilga Cannon Tower, which is hilarious. And a bunch of fiends. Um, probably gonna stick with this. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with this. This setup. So let's just do it. Let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. We'll see how we fare, and we'll decide to change anything if we fail. Gotta remember how to play it, though. It's been a been since whole, since yesterday. It was so long ago. All right. Right off the bat, I kind of feel like I'm gonna play defensively. What, he, what are you gonna start with? Okay, you're gonna start with that, and I'm gonna start with that. We need a defender to take down that. Or no, attacker is strong. Yeah, so we'll go with another one of those. Dun, 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 dun. I'll put a cleric over here. The time limit is what got you the most? Okay, I get that. Let me get another cleric here. Alright, let me get an elite enforcer right here. Uh oh. No, no, no. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh. Let's do an enforcer. I don't like when the wolf pushes it ahead, man. want to uh I want to get Tifa out there is what I want crap get Tifa ah right, what's the button what's the button get Tifa out there yeah here we go now we're doing work here we go if I get an elite enforcer out there cloud can be out here in just just a moment too all right cloud you know what to do Finish them! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at me killing it! Quick, get some more dudes out here. No, let's get elite dudes. Elite dudes only. Elite dudes only. Anyway, victory is about to be mine, y'all. Let's go! Too easy! Aggression, tie roll. <laughs> I'm a Fort Condor master. Kill the mesh. So hilarious. I'm glad I wasn't spoiled on any of this. Like, I knew Fort Condor would probably be back, but I wasn't spoiled on any of this silly storyline where we get to see all the characters in their blocky mode. Oh, look, it's Gilgamesh. Oh. Never would I allow you names to claim it. The true bad guy. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> hey, Captain, well, wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? Well, like I said, one more round of that to go. Polygonal piece of shit. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. 
They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? It was better when they were part of a system. Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto rather. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired the signal. Send us the coordinates. Okay, coordinates sent for the final Corridor game, which will be the last thing in this whole area. So that whole PC game was some sort of acid trip or something? No, we're actually getting sucked into the game. It is happening. I wouldn't call it an acid trip. It's just literally what's happening in the game.